Hey guys, what is up? Zero here, and welcome back to Fruits of the Literature Club. Chapter 2 has been released, and now we can finally see if MC is Batman, like I've been telling everybody. Because <laughs> it's the truth, let's be real. People make a good point, you know? Just because he didn't have his parents, just because he still has parents doesn't mean he isn't Batman. New origin story for Batman. I don't know, maybe his parents don't die. <laughs> <laughs> Batman joins the literature club. Best mod. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yes. All right. So yeah, last no. time we think we told Sayori we were going to join the club. We finally told her. It took an entire chapter one for us to, <laughs> to, to be like, you know what? <laughs> Let's join the club. <laughs> Even though we hang out here anyway. <laughs> so, yeah. So this is a, we have a call on our phone. And yeah, this is now chapter two. Sayori's bedroom. <gasps> Ooh. Yeah, he said he would join. That's great. I'm relieved. Monica's voice emanates from Sayori's loudspeaker. She's been talking to Monica for a few minutes as she puts away laundry. We finally have our fifth member. We can have an official school club. <laughs> that is right. Sayori, one by one, puts her garments away into her dresser. Ugh, I should really clean up my room. Is it still messy? Yeah. I don't really clean it that often. Well, what if Zero came over and saw that? What do you mean by that? Well, he would see your room all dirty, silly. Why would he be in my room? <laughs> <laughs> Sayori takes a second to decipher what Monica meant. Eh? Eh? <laughs> Monica! <laughs> Sayori's reaction causes Monica to giggle. That is gross! <laughs> all right, all right. I'm sorry. Oh, what happened? Oh, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Jumped out her window? <laughs> Monica, that's gross. <laughs> ah! <laughs> I step out onto the back patio that leads to my backyard. The silence outside makes it so much easier to think. I sit down in a lawn chair and lean my head back so I can look into the stars. God. The exasperated sigh of somewhat relieves my frustration. Like, I, I have meant heave. I heave somewhat relieves my frustration. Lately, the company has been calling me in more and more. But not even for my intended purpose. For odd jobs here and there. Go get this. Go deliver that. Just shut up already. I really wish I could say that. I wasn't trained for office work. Top it all off, when I was permitted to come here, I was told I was going to be a reserve. To only be used when absolutely necessary. If you were here, you would correct this frivolous behavior. But you're not. And I'm on my own. <laughs> would you have been proud of me for what I did? I looked that softened ex executive in his face. Why am I being called? What, is your intern too scared to, lo to look you in the eye? Such insolent behavior from... The look on his face when I stepped closer to him made me smirk. I wasn't trained to do your intern's job. I'm not your toy. Do not treat me and use me as such. Normally, I would have been apprehended and hauled off for correction. But I think the executive understood that he, that he, out of, that he was out of line. I think that's what I meant to say. <laughs> because I was assigned to another person. <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm never going to escape that underlying concern in the back of my mind, no matter what. It's something I'll never be able to run from. Something catches my eye to my left. It's Sayori's house. Her bedroom light is on and she seems to be changing clothes. Oh, God. Sayori, close the blinds! <laughs> Come on, now! You're dressing with your window open. Nasty! <laughs> but it isn't what caught my attention. I hear something in the bushes nearby. <gasps> the rhythmic sound of silent footsteps. Oh, shit! <laughs> what? I remained low to the ground and silently moved myself towards the front of my house. Could it be? No, it can't be. Oh shit! Close my eyes and wait for the sound again. Gotcha! I skulk around the bushes that lead alongside the sidewalk, remaining out of street lamps and other miscellaneous lights. I peer around a corner and notice a boy around my age trying to peer up into Sayori's window. You freaking pink! <laughs> You purr! 
Herb! You I said you peek! You peek! <laughs> you peek! <laughs> I get behind him, grab him by the back of his shirt collar, and pull him down forcefully. Get your freaking head over here! Gah. What is your problem? It's Chad MC! I know it! <laughs> Out of everyone, of course it is him! <laughs> he tries to get up off the ground, but I place my foot on his chest and hold him down. Mine? What do you think you're what do you think you're doing looking into a girl's bedroom like that? I look down at him and meet his eyes. Mind your own business. I reach down and pick him up by his collar once more. I'm making it my business. He's pushing me back, well, those hemp's do. But I predicted this. As soon as his hand makes contact with my chest, I wrap one hand around his left arm. My right arm reaches around his right. I bring my left arm inwards, pulling him closer. Due to his tall body type, he's forced to hunch over towards me, giving me the perfect opportunity. I shove his right arm down, bringing his neck closer. I take this chance. My right elbow strikes him in the throat. I let him stagger back, his eyes in a pan of confusion. I step closer, forcing him to move further away. Do you want to continue? Or will you leave? Y your eyes? What's with your eyes? I take another step closer. God! He coughs and struggles to breathe. He reaches it out to lunge at me. If I ever see you here again, I'll not hesitate as I am now. P who are you? I'm Batman! <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> I, wrap, I wrap one of my hands around his throat. Do you understand? nods. I push him backwards where he gets back onto his feet clumsily and runs off. I watch him plead like a dog with their tail between their legs. Sarah's so window opens. I get as close as, I, as to the wall as possible, concealing myself from review. I like how descriptive that was when we were fighting him. <laughs> yeah. Like, that really actually helped me image that in my head. <laughs> that was actually really yeah. good Good writing, A.E. That was like watching an anime in your head. <laughs> yeah, like it was very descriptive. You could really tell what he was doing by everything he was telling you. Good job, Eagle. Mm -hmm. And those are some nice Batman moves that I did. <laughs> <laughs> to be caught right now would not do me any good. Sayori looks around for a moment, and then closes her window. Phew. I lie down in bed and stare at the ceiling. And that boy. I've never seen him before. So he either doesn't attend our school, or I've missed him. But why was he attempting to peep at Sayori like that? Doesn't matter. But was what I did necessary? I mean, I could have just let him peek at Sayori. <laughs> Something inside of me just feels absolute anger at what he did. Am I really growing to like these girls? Or am I just an upstanding citizen? <laughs> like, come on now. You're just like, fuck it, I'm gonna let him peek at my friend. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> like, what the hell? <laughs> hmm. I guess he really had, like, no attachment to them. I guess they were just strangers to him. Makes sense, I suppose. Club room. Oh, boy. Aw, oh, man. I'm the last one here again. Don't worry. I just walked in, too. Were you practicing piano again? Yeah. <laughs> you must have a lot of determination. Starting this club and now picking up piano? Well, maybe not determination, but I guess passion. Remember that the club wouldn't be here if it wasn't for all of you. And I'm super happy they're all willing to help out for the festival, too. Ah, I can't wait for the festival. It's gonna be great. Huh? Weren't you complaining about it just yesterday, Natsuki? Well, yeah. I'm not talking about our part of the festival. But it's a whole day of school where we get to play and eat all kinds of delicious food. Sound a bit like Sayori all of a sudden. Monica, do they usually have fried squid? Squid? That's a pretty specific thing to look forward to. Oh, come on. Are you saying you don't like squid? You, of all people? Eh? I didn't say I don't like it. Besides, what do you mean by you, of all people? Because. It's right in your name. Monica. Tenth time I've heard the joke. Always a riot, <laughs> Natsuki. Always a good one. A knee slapper. Like how we're both sitting here silently like, Natsuki. We've heard this like 20 times. <laughs> it, it wasn't that funny, Natsuki. <laughs> Come on now. 
Eh? That's not how you say my name at all. Also, the joke makes no sense. Also, that joke makes no sense in translation. <laughs> uh, never mind. <laughs> Let's just focus on our own event for now, okay? <laughs> fine, fine. Your reactions aren't as fun as Yuri's or Sayori's anyway. Excuse me. Where is Sayori anyway? Oh, there you are. Sayori is sitting at a desk in the corner of the room, looking down at nothing. I walk over to her. Hey, Sayori. I wave my hand in front of her face. Eh? You're spacing out again. Ah. Uh, uh, <laughs> sorry. Don't mind me. You can go talk to everyone else. Huh? Is everything all right? Of course. Why wouldn't it be? Well, you're a very social person, and all of a sudden today, you're not that at all. Even in class earlier, you didn't ask one question or socialize with anyone. Jeez, you worry too much about me. I'm fine, see? I grab a chair from one of the nearby desks and sit down next to her. Oh, this is different. <laughs> what are you doing? What does it look like? What is wrong with you? N nothing, alright? I'm just tired. Are you up late again? Y yes. But this time wasn't my fault. Mm -hmm. I heard some noises outside my room last night and it scared me. No, it was just, it was just a vigilante <laughs> protecting the streets from scoundrels. <laughs> That's what it was. Oh, you did. Yep, I remember now. A fight last night. She looked out her window and didn't see anything. What does that look for? Huh? That look on your face. It's scary. I'm not scary! <laughs> I defend the peace! Damn it, Sayori! Oh, sorry. I guess I was just in deep thought. Listen, Sayori, there's no need to be scared. But... I promise you, there's nothing to worry about. Okay. You're such a good person, Zero. Yeah. Uh, if you say so. You doing better now? Well, with you protecting me, I do feel much better. Okay, hold on. I didn't say... Sayori jumps up from her chair and skips towards the other girls. I didn't say I was going to protect you! Get back here! <laughs> Damn you, Sayori. Alright. So, before we read our poems, we have a bit of free time. So, feel free to do whatever. Each of the girls disperse around the room. Monica goes up towards the front with Sayori and begins to look at a piece of paper. Masi goes in the closet and emerges a minute later with one of her mangas. And Yuri sits down timidly at her desk and looks through a few books. Honestly, I want to learn more about these girls. If I'm going to be in this club with them, it's the least I can do. Should I start spending time with them? Okay, so I'm gonna say something. <laughs> I am <laughs> I, I am doing Natsuki, but after Natsuki's, I'm gonna go back and we're gonna do Monica as well. Because why not? <laughs> <laughs> also, Eagle told me, told me by going down the other routes, you get to learn a little bit more about our MC. So we're going to do at least two. And then for Sayori and Yuri, I'm sorry. I'm not doing theirs, but you can but you can definitely find other people who do theirs. All right. I already know there's a friend of mine named FD who uploaded a Yuri video. So he has a Yuri route. So if you want to see her stuff, go look at his. And I'm pretty sure Spaghetto is probably going to play Sayori. <laughs> and once he <laughs> plays this mod at some point. So you just wait for that. I'm doing Natsuki and Monica. <laughs> I'll go with Natsuki. I don't know if I'm going to regret this later, but I do want to know more about her. However, I feel like I'm going to be have I'm going to have to deal with her attitude quite a lot. Hey, you. Eh? <laughs> I look up to see Natsuki's next to me. Are you just going to sit there and keep staring at nothing? Yes, that's my favorite pastime. Don't make fun of it. <laughs> There isn't that much time, so... Uh, sorry. It's not like I'm worried. I was just... Natsuki glances down on her side. She's holding a volume of manga in her hand. So you want me to read it to you again today? Don't think that I was waiting for you or something. You just looked like you weren't doing anything. You're correct. I wasn't doing anything. Well? Aren't you going to ask me something? I don't do well with people just assuming and demanding things from me. Ugh, fine. Would you like to read with me again today? Sure. I stand up almost immediately after accepting. D don't get too excited. I just didn't really want to sit around doing nothing. And the other girls are busy, so I guess I had to resort to you. 
Yeah, same. Nasi <laughs> uh. stops so <laughs> she speaks again. I can tell my response was sort of impacting. But what do I care? It's good every once in a while to give someone the taste of their own bitter tongue. Are we going back to the wall again today? Where else will we go? The desk? Pfft, this isn't fun. Oh. That isn't fun. That's Yuri? <laughs> yeah, oh, wait. He's like dropping. <laughs> I don't. Is it Yuri? <laughs> yeah. You sure? That seems like a Natsuki line. I think this is a mistake. Oh. Uh, maybe it is a bug. <laughs> that isn't fun. Alright, yeah, that's a Natsuki line. <laughs> it, was just uh. a, it was just a bug. Natsuki grabs my sleeve and pulls me towards the same wall we sat at yesterday. Um, before we start... Hmm? I noticed that Sayori was acting weird earlier. It's not normal for her. And as soon as you started talking to her, she went back to her normal self. What is your point? Are you and her dating? N not that I care or anything. No, we aren't dating. Only reassured her safety, that's all. Her safety? That seems serious. Don't worry about it, Natsuki. She was just scared. <laughs> what are you, some kind of cop or something? No, I'm Batman! <laughs> it's close! <laughs> no! I work with Commissioner Gordon! <laughs> He's no! a cop! Yes! <laughs> no! Natsuki chuckles and smiles at her fictitious theory. I don't really have any type of response to her silliness, so I smile as a retort. Ah, so we're kind of like a cop. Alright, I kind of figured. You're too much of a dummy to be a cop. <laughs> Are we going to read or what? <laughs> Try to change the subject. It's not like I'm a cop or something, it just makes me uncomfortable. Oh, okay, <laughs> fine. <laughs> he's not a cop. Because <laughs> he's Batman. <laughs> Duh, no. what else will we do? Hmm... With that, now and I continue to read her manga together. It's just time to let myself relax. I'm not going to assume leadership over our little operation. Every so often, she would laugh and point at a panel, explaining the comedy behind it. I would humor her by offering a fake chuckle that I've mastered over the years. Constant formality in awkward situations has taught me that. But, seeing Natsuki in her, neutral, in her natural state is comforting slightly. Which makes me wonder why she acts differently when no one else is around. It looks as if she's genuinely enjoying her time with me. I don't think that's, that is that bad of a thing. <laughs> what does this panel mean? I decided to continue a good time by engaging myself. Now she confidently begins to explain what is happening. Apparently, one of the main characters is fumbling over some jock jockey guy she fancies. I can easily tell the similarities between Natsuki and this character. For example, they have the same hairstyle, I assume she got it from this manga, along with the assumptions that she also picked up baking from this manga as well. To my surprise, Monica calls us to our desk and I was a little dismayed by it. Because we were enjoying ourselves? Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Okay, everyone. After some time passes, Monica calls out to the club room. Why don't we share our poems now? Before I know it, everything's back to normal. Each of the girls retrieve their poems. Nowski folds her poem up and sneaks glances at me. And I stand up and walk over to her, grabbing her by chair and scooting it close. Nowski looks at me and smiles. And I think this is one of the few and rare times she has done so. <laughs> Which throws me off, but strangely welcomes and comforts me. Yo. You ready to see what I got for you today, Zero? I guess so. Oh, it's Amy like spiders! <laughs> Not bad, right? It's quite a bit longer than yesterday's. And yesterday's was way too short. I was just warming up. I hope you don't didn't think that was the best I could do. I don't even know. From the confidence you have shown today, I can clearly tell otherwise. Anyway, the message is pretty straightforward in this poem. I doubt I have to explain it. Sometimes you can explain complicated issues with much simpler analogies. And it helps people realize how stupid they're being. Like, anyone would agree that the subject of this poem is an arrogant jerk. An ignorant jerk. Do you know people like that? Of course. It's about how everyone thinks my... That doesn't matter. It can be about anything. <laughs> I wrote it to be easy to relate to. Everyone has some kind of weird hobby or guilty pleasure. Or something that you're afraid of if people find out they make fun of you or think less of you. But that just makes people stupid. Who cares what someone likes as long as they're not hurting anyone and it makes them happy? I think people really need to learn to respect others for liking weird things. Well, you're definitely right. At least, I can relate to that. I'm sure a lot of other people can too. You know, I'm glad that you can appreciate this kind of writing. I mean, I know I was talking about that yesterday, 
but I've been, well, I've been enjoying my writing with you, sharing my writing with you, so... So consider yourself lucky, okay? Hey, I'm lucky. <laughs> well, thanks for being honest. What's that supposed to mean? I'm always honest. Jeez. Just look forward to tomorrow too, okay? Alright, I will. Small twinge of sincerity released from my voice box. Oh. Okay, everyone. Oh, we're just skipping everyone else's poems? Well, fuck everyone else. So as you all know, the festival's coming up. And I wanted to let and I, and I wanted to kind kind of let you all know what I plan for each person to do. Each girl looks at Monica with a sense of confidence and determination. For almost a split second, I'm taken back to my old class. All of this information, I'm listening to our leader's speech in an attempt to motivate. It makes me smile. Okay, so I want to say I already prepare some flyers to help advertise the club during the festival. Yuri, I'd like for you to make some decorations and atmospheric enhancements to the room. Natsuki, since you're, the, uh, since you're our master of baking, I'd like for you to make us some bona fide cupcakes. And I'll be managing as the guide of the club. What about me? Of course, I cannot forget about our most memorable person in the club. Wait, what? I'd like for you to assist one of us one of us in each of our activities. You, of course, can pick who would help. I might as well help Natsuki. Natsuki looks happy in my decision, but immediately changes back to her callous and brazen self. <laughs> so I like how they didn't just let me choose, but I guess it made sense since I picked to hang out with her. So I guess it would mm -hmm. make sense to hang out with her. At the festival thing. Oh, the hell it's called. How many times have we prepared for this festival? Is this one actually going to be good? <laughs> All these other mods, <laughs> the way shit. No, so I caught myself on a burp. Well, I hope you enjoy working with her during the weekend. Yep. The girls start to pack up their things. Preparing to leave, I grab my bag and sling it over my shoulder. Before I exit the room, I approach Natsuki. Yo, Natsuki. It's about time you came over here. What? Well, since you're helping me this weekend, it would make sense if we made a plan. Exactly. What would be your preferred method of communication? It would make sense if we exchanged phone numbers. Not that I want to or anything. I just don't want to be the only person doing work, especially if you agreed to help me. And you didn't have to. I could do it all on my own anyway. You're probably right. I reach into my pocket, being sure to grab my personal phone rather than my work phone. I keep you separated for a good reason. Yeah. <laughs> You don't just want to be in the middle of something, and you're like, Sayori! <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> I pull out my phone number, and I hold it out to her so she can take it down. So what now? I'm going to be leaving. Don't you think you're forgetting something? Send me a text with our plans for the weekend. Wait, so you don't even know what we're doing? I have something I have to do tomorrow. So Sunday would be best. Oh, what are you doing tomorrow? I don't respond. Oh, come on. What is it? A secret or something? Let's just say I'm visiting an old friend of mine. All right. I turn away and walk towards the door. My old friend? Ah, Robin. <laughs> Sarah and I begin our usual walk home. Sorry looks at me and stops her skipping. So, what do you think of the club? Eh, why would you ask that? Well, you always kept your meanie face on. My what? <laughs> You know, your face! Woman, my face is attached to my head. You need to elaborate if you're making a, a, a hypothetical. <laughs> sorry. Sometimes you can look like you're really mad. Or that you aren't paying attention, like you're off in some magic world in your head. Ah, I see. I don't offer an additional retort. Are you gonna answer my question, silly? I really don't know how to answer. I just joined, so I don't have an answer for you. There are definitely other things I could be doing right now. I not like them, but I guess I could say that I don't despise my time in it. So it beams, almost as if brighter than the sun itself. So you're gonna, do, so you're going to be helping one of us in the, this weekend, huh? Yep. So are you excited to be helping Natsuki? Why do you ask? I'm just curious. Don't worry about <laughs> it. Do you happen to like her? He, <laughs> you women piss me off. I scruff my brow at her. <laughs> I think you do. I grab Sarah from the <laughs> back of her collar. Ah! I start to rub my knuckle gently against her scalp. Ow! 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 ow, ow. Meanie! I release her, calling <laughs> her to stick her tongue out at me. 
Listen, what I do is none of, none of your concern. Whatever you say, Mr. Secretive. <laughs> we arrive at our normal departure point. We're here. Alrighty. Do you want to hang out today? Since tomorrow you're helping one of the girls? Actually, I have to prepare for something tomorrow. I won't actually be with any of the other girls until Sunday. Oh? What do you have to prepare for? Don't worry about it. Sayori trots <laughs> off, sticking her tongue out at me. Alright, goodbye, Sayori. I turn away and walk home. Yeah, bye, Sayori, sticking your tongue out at me. Oh, that's not how you say bye to people. <laughs> Train station! <laughs> it's just the sky again. <laughs> I found a train station. The train station in the, in the clouds, of course. <laughs> the sky is filled with a mar marginal amount of clouds. It gives the morning a pleasant death. I walk up the cement stairs of the station, ready to rendezvous with a contact of mine. Not many people are around here. I guess it makes sense, since it's Saturday. The normal business crowd is never active on the weekends. So the constantly streamlined flow of suits and interns have vanished. I was informed to meet my contact here at 9 a.m. And I try my best to keep to meet my required deadlines. This is for my job, after all. As I climb the final step of the unusually long staircase, I look around. Zero! Zero, over here! I hear a woman's voice call out to me from the southeast. That voice. Oh, God, no. I turn to the face of the sound of the voice, and my fears are confirmed. Aw, oh, look at you. You're even bigger than when I last saw you. He... What in God's name are you doing here, Julia? <laughs> Or me as an older woman that I've known for quite a while. <laughs> Isn't it obvious? I'm just gonna give Julia the same voice as Monica. <laughs> Doesn't seem like she's that <laughs> important of a character. <laughs> Dear God, don't tell me I'm stuck with you. Hey, well that is that is a good way to hurt a girl's feelings. Girl, you're an entire decade older than I am. You maybe were a girl when I first met you, but her face contorts into an annoyed expression. Hmm. <laughs> I see that you haven't changed from your normal bratty self. I look up and down her body. For being 28, still looks as if she's passable for someone who isn't allowed to drink yet. <laughs> Maybe one or two adjustments. I was just admiring your beauty, Julia. Gah? N no, you aren't. How can you say that with that mocking grin of yours? Yeah, I guess you're right. <laughs> beauty isn't the right word. She holds up a hand to stop me from continuing. Just forget I even said that. I feel like the next word you were going to say would be worse than the former. I shrug my shoulders. Let's get this over with already, please. I sit down on a nearby bench. Julia sits down next to me. She's wearing a casual white t-shirt, exposing a little more than her collarbone. <gasps> more than her collarbone? <laughs> Can't be doing this. There's kids! <laughs> her brunette hair sways slightly in the breeze. Her jean shorts barely cover her upper thighs. How did they let you prance around dressed like that? What? Do you like what you see? You're on duty, <laughs> right? Her face stiffens. Y yes, but it's not like I can just meet you in my normal attire. We have to remain incognito. You could have just picked me up in your car. I it's in the shop right now. You rear-ended someone again, didn't you? She starts to sweat slightly. N none of your business! <laughs> my eyebrows. Was it the car- Shut up! God, how did you ever become so stubborn? You're serious, right? You weren't this stubborn and rude when we brought you home. She crosses her arms. That effect? Well, you didn't even open your mouth back then. It was probably better, too. If you say so. Anyway, what exactly did they give me to you? Well, I heard about the little incident where you told your prior sh chief off. And that he requested a reassignment for you. And, because of your nature, they saw you as the only person who could control me. I won't even say control. We haven't been speaking for more than five minutes. You've already insulted me to hell. And why do you think that is, Julia? Because you're a dick. <laughs> oh, okay. Jeez. <laughs> not monetizing friendly, not advertiser friendly, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I, wrap my, I wrap my arm around her, smirking slightly. Hey! Her face starts to redden. What are you up to? What? Is it wrong for me to show you some TLC every once in a while? The image of getting any type of TLC from you is utterly terrifying in my mind. <laughs> she shudders in her seat. I pat her on the shoulder, opposite of me, and remove my hand. Jeez, why do you do this to me? It's fun. You're a sadist. Well, I expected <laughs> the word bastard from you, but that works. 
Still no respect from your father, huh? Still no respect for your father, huh? I hate the man. You know, I'll never respect him. I know. It's because of him that... I raised my hand out in front of her, signaling her to stop. Right. Sorry, Zero. It's fine. Anyway, I need your phone. Here. Reaching into the breast pocket of my white dress shirt, I retrieve a black folded cell phone. I place it into Julia's outstretched hand. Thank you. She smiles as she opens the phone and begins to look through it. So you're keeping your commissioned phone for only our contact, right? Correct. And you still have a normal civilian phone? Correct. Good. Remember to keep the two entirely separate. If we ever need to call you, it won't be from your GP phone. GP in my field stands for general purpose for the general populace. Julia, I am already aware of this. Why must you give me the same exact lecture that the other chiefs have given me? Because it's procedure. <laughs> what are you snickering about over there? You following procedure? Julia, please don't make me laugh. Listen, when I was promised to, to div when I was promoted to division chief, I made sure to hold myself to better standards than before. So, no more nights where you just pop back home at 3 a.m. drunk off your ass? Oh, God. <laughs> Seems like <laughs> Julia's an alcoholic. <laughs> Gah! L listen, okay? I was younger then. Also, you know as well as I that... Don't you dare say her name. Huh? Julia looks over at me, puzzled. And I stare back into her eyes. I said do not say her name. She looks saddened at my reaction. You're still not used to her being gone. I can't really blame you. She was like my sister, after all. I'm aware. She chuckles sadly. I like how it's just like this entire story. I'm just, I don't know who any of these people are. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, oh no, someone's gone? Yeah. Was it that one girl that we said in chapter one? What was her name? Jennifer? <laughs> I think it was Jennifer. <laughs> I think wasn't. her name was, I think her name was Ashley. Oh, I think it was Ashley. Yeah, I think that's the person who's gone. <laughs> I remember when she and I first found you. Something lit up in her eyes and that I never saw before. Even in the heat of the intense operation, she still took a second to reevaluate everything. You two didn't have to take me. Why not? You're going to die there if we didn't. I don't care. Sensing my growing hostility, Julia discontinues the topic. She hands the black cell phone back to me. My desk and cell are both in there. Call me only when needed. Same with you. I'm trying to live a normal life here. I need regular calls to the office. It's really admirable of you to strive for a normal life. And I'll try to make sure you do just that. She smiles warmly at me. Her sparkling blue eyes, somewhat, give me a glimpse of sincerity. But I know Julia is only saying what I want to hear. She isn't bound to my wishes. But to whatever she is asked to do by the higher-ups. Nevertheless, it was good to see her again. Her friendly face is appealing every once in a while. I'm gonna get going now, Julia. I'll call you in a few hours. I want you to be ready. Right. After a moment of calming silence, I'm going to take my leave. All right, we... Ow! I smacked the upper middle of Julia's back. What the hell was that for? <laughs> oh, she said ow. Oh, oh yeah, she said it. Ow! <laughs> there we go. <laughs> uh, you... <laughs> the black shafts of her bra that shows her stand clown her shoulders loosen significantly. Oh, God! <laughs> M my bra! I stand up to start to walk away. God damn it, Zero! You shouldn't have taught me to do that! <laughs> I have my right hand in a mock salute as a gesture of farewell. Ugh! I start down the stairs, revealing the sound of Julia's upset huffs and puffs. When I was younger, she had taught me how to very, very easily undo a girl's bra through her shirt. I simply <laughs> match my action by slapping her on the back. I chuckle quietly to myself. Why would you teach him that?! <laughs> That's a very <laughs> weird thing to teach a child. Now, why do we need this? <laughs> I mean, for being a perv. I bet Chad MC yeah. wish he knew. <laughs> the sidewalk, which seemed to stretch for miles, finally begins to end at my neighborhood. After all today's training and use, I'm beat. I lean against the fence that borders my house, closing my eyes. It honestly sure does feel nice to relax for a moment. After a few minutes, I open my eyes and go inside. I walk into my room after grabbing some food and quickly chowing it down. I reach into one of my desk drawers and grab my normal phone. I sit down at the, foot of be at the foot of my bed. I notice several text messages in my notifications. Hey, don't think you can skip out on helping me tomorrow. You won't hear the end of it. Text me when you get this. 
the hell? If this is going to be the norm for her from her, I think I made a mistake. <laughs> Grimacing, I replied to her message. I got it. She's probably asleep by now. My phone buzzes with a response. <laughs> Finally! Were you ignoring me or something? No, as I told you yesterday before the club ended, I was busy all day. So, so? When are you gonna help me? Tomorrow? Alright, is noon okay with you? My dad wants me home after a few hours. That's fine. Okay, I'll text you tomorrow. Well, don't be sending this freaking. Aww. Don't be sending a freaking tongue out base at me. <laughs> <laughs> the emoticon was not necessary. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it was. But I dismiss it. You only think it's because it's cute. <laughs> I look out of my bedroom window and into the neighborhood. It's really quiet and serene. Like it's one of those atmospheres where you can let your guard down and just relax. Unfortunately, that is never the case for me. Feeling my eyelids grow heavier by the second, I retire for the night. <laughs> well, my house. Hello. I wonder how they did that. That, like, cool little thing. Mm hmm It's cool. I like it. I flip the page of the book I'm reading, finding myself more immersed each paragraph. Every once in a while, I glance at my watch for an update on an hour. On the hour. Now it's gonna have both agreed that noon would be a good time to meet up. She and I texted a few times this morning to confirm the time. As I recall that, I sent someone at my door. I opened my door to find Natsuki just in playfully casual clothes waiting for me. Natsuki? Hi! You're early. Is that a problem? Yes. <laughs> uh, oh. I... <laughs> Natsuki, when you agree to a time for someone, you meet it. Being early is almost as bad as being late. At least, where I come from, that is. <laughs> it's not like I wanted to be here or anything. Then why are you here? <laughs> I came early because... My dad threw away some of my baking supplies. I wanted to see if you happen to have replacements. Can't say for sure if I do, but you're welcome to look. She she knows she wanted to be here, that's why she's early. <laughs> <laughs> I should not ask in that kitchen and allow her to look through my cupboards and shelves. She looks with great eagerness, almost desperation. When she doesn't find anything she needs, she turns to me with a defeated face. Do you really not have any baking ingredients here? Natsuki, for God's sake. Do I look like a baker to you? No, but you don't even have flour or baking soda. What kind of kitchen doesn't have those super important things? Mine. Ugh. <laughs> Are we going to make cupcakes for the festival then? Why don't we go and get the supplies you need? How? We buy them? <laughs> I don't have any money. Nasuki growls. But I do? <laughs> do you honestly ever stop to think about things, Natsuki? <laughs> Like, for real, for the short time I've known you, you jump to conclusions very easily. Shut up! I just didn't expect you to pay for something that was my fault anyway. As he turns away defeated. Your fault? What do you mean by that? D don't worry about it. It isn't like I wanted to tell you anyway. Alright, fine. I'm not going to play your game. <laughs> Let's go to a nearby <laughs> store to get some more of your stuff. Wait, really? Yes. Nasty plays a large bag she was carrying on my table. Inside of it are several ingredients and pieces of equipment used for baking and pastry creation. Aww. Come on, Nasty, let's go to the store! <laughs> now it's gonna exit my house, me and walking to a nearby store. She strides around with a gleeful expression. So, what is it exactly you need? Well, I need some flour, baking soda, some powdered sugar. She starts to list off the ingredients that she doesn't have. And it makes me question why her father threw them away. <laughs> and why did your father throw those away? <laughs> because... Don't worry about it, okay? Nasi raises her voice. <laughs> Nasi interrupts me. My dad just throws things out that he finds useless. Her voice whimpers slightly. Eyes widen for a second. Wait. This sounds... extremely familiar. Zero? I grip my fists. So, your father throws away things he assumes are useless, right? Yeah, why do you care? Why would he like why would he think things like flour and sugar are useless? I, I don't know. I'm not my dad. Why do you care anyway? Because I think I relate. Huh? N nothing. Never mind. 
We're near the store, right? Oh, <laughs> is our dad abusive? Was our dad abusive too? I'm assuming that's what it is. Oh no. Because he says, when he was talking to Julia, he says, I'll never respect that man. So I'm assuming, and he mm. says this seems extremely familiar. So I think our dad was abusive as well. Damn. Mm, so that's, a, that's a relatable thing. <laughs> Does that mean we have a chance we're gonna fight Natsuki's dad? <laughs> I think we're gonna fight Natsuki's dad at some point. <laughs> Maybe. Wait, wait. I changed the subject quickly. Yeah, it's just around the corner. Good. Are you really sure it's okay for you to buy this stuff? Yes. We did promise Monica we could do this, right? Yeah. Then let's not let anything stand in the way of our goal. Right. Natsuki and I continue our walk to the store. Eventually arrive at a small grocery store. Natsuki and I walk in and immediately head to the bakery section. Oh, little Natsuki. Hi, Baker Clarence. Clarence, who is this? <laughs> <laughs> Natsuki happily greets an older gentleman who smiles when he sees her. Oh, older Natsuki. <laughs> He's an old man now. <laughs> that Clarence is old. How are you today, little one? <laughs> I'm fantastic now that, now that I'm here. I stand back and observe. Yeah, well, what can I get for my favorite little baker? Do you still have any of your special flour? I always have a little for you, Natsuki. Okay, Clarence, chill out! <laughs> <laughs> this is getting weird! <laughs> oh my god. Natsuki beams and giggles. You happen to also have some baking soda, sugar, and some... Natsuki lists out ingredients that she said she didn't have. Quite a list you got there, Natsuki. But I wouldn't be a baker if I didn't have them. He chuckles. Natsuki's very oddly close to him. Which makes me question a few things. It makes some rather inappropriate scenes pop into my head. Yeah, me too, man! <laughs> oh no. Why do I get irritated at the thought of that? Anything for my favorite little baker? The old baker walks to the back of the store. I walk up to Natsuki. You know this old guy? Yeah, ever since I started baking, he's been super helpful. Natsuki smiles genuinely. It makes me smile as well. See someone like Natsuki, so happy and joyful is rare. Well, that's nice. Right? Natsuki's overjoyed. The old baker returns after a minute with all the items Natsuki requested. Here you are, little miss. Um, the boy with me will pay for all this. The older gentleman looks at me and his face turns to a stern expression. What? <laughs> so, this is the boy you're hanging out with now? N no He's just someone from school who was helping me at the festival. I can affirm that. All right. Uh, he chuckles. That'll be $42.50. <laughs> Nazi stiffens up and looks at me quizzically. No problem here. I pull out a solid and metallic black card from my wallet. I hand it to the old man who accepts it and momentarily inspects it. His eyes widen. Th thank you, young man. You're most welcome, sir. My friend here is currently lacking in supplies, so it is my pleasure to help. He looks at me, eyes no longer widening, and smiles. Well, I'm very glad to hear that. He swipes the card. Pin number, young man? 4912. That number will never leave my mind. Ever. Okay. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> After a moment, he hands a recipient to me. A receipt to me. That's a recipient. A receipt! <laughs> he hands a recipient. That's a person! <laughs> Just picks up an entire person. Here you go! Ah! Help! <laughs> It won't stop screaming! <laughs> oh god! <laughs> <laughs> he looks at Natsuki and smiles again. You enjoy your baking, okay? As always, Baker Clarence. Natsuki takes the bag full of supplies and turns to me. Okay, let's go make these cupcakes. Natsuki has a fire in her eyes, which makes me grin. Alright, buy your leave. Natsuki and I are back in my house. She enters the kitchen and immediately starts to set things up. She still has the determination in her eyes. That is an extreme turn-on for me. I've been around people who are either depressed and unmotivated or determined and willing to do whatever it takes. The latter is what I prefer due to my guardian. Before long, the whole kitchen is a mess. Spoons, dirty bowls, flowers, spilled fluid, and plastic bags are strewn about every countertop. The mixture isn't big enough to make all the batter at once, so we've had to do it several times. Meanwhile, Natsuki's babysitting all my movements to make sure I don't mess up her precious baking. Zero, where did you put the food coloring? The batter's going in the oven soon, so I need to fill the trays. I think it's still in the bag next to the table. What are you using it for? 
The color of the batter, of course. And making each tray a different color. And that way, even if the flavors aren't different, everyone can still pick their favorite. Huh, that's a cute idea. Are we doing anything like that with the icing? Do you want to? Why are you asking me? You're the baker here. You're my apprentice. Oh, am I? <laughs> of course. Then sure. Meanwhile, I see her separate the batter into smaller bowls and put a few drops of food coloring into each. Ah, that doesn't look that bad. See? It's not like baking just about following instructions. The presentation is where you get to be creative and have the most fun. It's a million times more worth it in the end just looking at it and make everyone's eyes light up. Like the ones you made on my first day, huh? I call Natsuki proudly presenting her cat-shaped cupcakes and Sayori and Monica's delighted expressions. I honestly don't even care to make Natsuki proud like this. I'm just here to help. Maybe I'll use the food coloring then. Sounds like you're starting to understand. Just make sure you completely finish mixing the icing before you mess with the food coloring. Yeah, it's getting there. We were using the electric mixer for the batter, so I got stuck with a whisk and a huge bowl for the icing. Eh? The icing's still all lumpy. Are you even trying? Oh god, what was that? <laughs> my voice broke, sorry. Huh? <laughs> my voice like turned into my voice halfway through. <laughs> Oh, I didn't hear that. <laughs> Did it not? The, I think I heard that. That I'm going crazy. That I don't think I was paying attention, to be honest. Oh my so maybe God. it did happen. Wow. Not paying <laughs> Get her out of here. My, I was like screwing around with my earbud. <laughs> Granted, this is vanilla dialogue, so don't blame me. I mean, it's some slight change. Is it? But yeah, this is if you hang out with Natsuki. A lot of this is. <laughs> God damn, you freaking don't play DDLC. It's it's like, just shows that I don't hang out with Natsuki. You don't, meanie. I never, I only did her Some thing like different. one time. Some of it's different, but a majority of it is the same. Oh, yeah, I've only done her thing like one or tw once or twice. Well, I mean, I not, obviously not going to the store with Baker Clarence wasn't a part of the game. Well, of yeah, the obviously. The game. I know. Does it look like I'm not woman? Jeez, I'll be here all night if you do it like that. Here, look. Now she grabs the whisk from me and uses her other hand to tilt the bowl back. You really need to beat the crap out of it. After a few seconds, the consistency of the icing has already improved. See? That's a damp besides now she sticks a finger in the icing and pops in her mouth. Why weren't we doing it that hard? We punch people and shit. Why weren't we just beating the shit out of the <laughs> icing? And probably because he had it sitting on the counter and it was just stirring it like that. If you hold it in your arm, it's much easier to oh. stir. I was about to say, maybe he didn't really have baking instruction. He had the strength, he just didn't know the right way to do it. Yeah. I reluctantly started to do the same. Hey! As he suddenly grabs my wrist. I don't want your gross fingers in my icing. Your icing, eh? Are you forgetting who did all the work? I start to fight back, trying to inch my finger toward the bowl. Well, here it comes. <laughs> <laughs> don't maybe beat the crap out of you next. That isn't possible. I push harder, just enough for my finger to reach the icing. I triumphantly scoop some of my finger just as Natsuki tugs with all her might. Ugh. The force of Natsuki pulling me causes me to stumble, making her stumble in turn. Gross! You got it all on my face! Whose fault is that? There's a big glob of icing on Natsuki's cheek. Mm. She tries to reach it with her tongue, but it's too far away. Jeez. You know what? Take this! Natsuki instead wipes, off, wipes it off with her finger before shoving her finger toward my own face. And I smirk. With almost instantaneous speed, I grab her wrist. Natsuki tries to use the other hand to fight back, but I grab that one as well. Ha ha! <laughs> <laughs> I'm too good. Stop! <laughs> I'm much faster than you, woman. Fine, fine. You win. You tease me all the time. You never let me have any, more, any of the fun. What do you mean? You constantly attack me with some pretty harsh words. I've heard some of the times we're in the club, not so those jabs at me quite a lot. This is just payback. What are you planning on doing, mister? You shouldn't tease me so much. Is that so? In that case, I probably shouldn't do this either. Oh shit, here it comes. <laughs> <laughs> Take Nazi's finger and put it in my mouth, licking off the icing. The sweetness of the icing mixed with the sensation of her finger, it's oddly intoxicating. B what D Did you seriously just... Uh... Nasi's so surprised you can't even figure out how to get mad at me. Her face is entirely red. Zero. You really shouldn't do that. You really shouldn't do that kind of thing to girls unless you really like them. You know that, right? I am very much aware. I lean my head close to her ear and whisper. 
This is my way of telling you that I'm in love with you, Natsuki. Whoa! This guy's way oh. more forward! <laughs> Wait, really? <laughs> Face reddens very quickly. Cat! Or at least Natsuki stand back snickering. Oh, we're joking with her. <laughs> What's so funny? D dummy, what the hell? I'm joking with you, Natsuki. You're so awful! Natsuki grunts and stops on the floor. Stomps on the floor. Sorry, I made it so easy to mess with you for a minute there. D you were very convincing. Am I? <laughs> I thought I was being very open and fake. Natsuki looks disheartened all of a sudden. Wait, does she? Anyway, I'm putting them in the oven now. Yeah. The tension from the moment before still lingers over our heads. The moment has already been seen been lost. I watch Natsuki slides the cupcake trays into the oven. Then I reluctantly pick up the whisk and continue with the icing, like nothing ever happened. <laughs> Maybe I should apologize to her. If I let her on, even I can agree that isn't okay. Natsuki? What do you- what do you want? About a minute ago. I probably shouldn't have led you on like that. What are you getting at? That I actually like you? It was just a hunch. D dummy I kinda like someone like you. Someone like me? Plus, my dad wouldn't allow it. Why is that? Like I'm, a, like, I'm going to tell you. Why do you care, anyway? Natsuki growls. I was just curious. Damn. The way she gets angry and asserts herself reminds me of someone. Which does stir up some sort of feelings inside. Good? Bad? I don't even know. Excuse me for, for feeling a little rare glimpse of remorse. N Natsuki stiffens and whispers and whimpers slightly. Look, I appreciate that you're feeling sorry. I shouldn't have been so... Rude. I just get defensive at times because of my debt. Nasty stops herself. I don't probe for obvious reasons. How about you keep showing me your expert ways of baking? You should be ready to bake, cup bake the cupcakes, right? Ah, that smells good. We, you know, we need a pro. We need to go and beat Natsuki's dad up. Let's go, guys. Woo! <laughs> Final boss. Natsuki's father. <laughs> the cupcakes are ready to be pulled out of the oven. As soon as Natsuki opens the oven door, a blast of sweet-smelling warm air fills the room. Look at how cute they all look! She proudly shows off the different colored cupcakes in each of the trays. It'll look even better once we add the icing. I don't think you need to tell me that. I brought decorating stuff, so I hope you can get creative. Here, scoop the icing into these bags. Natsuki hands me some plastic bags. I have these nozzles that'll make them look nice and fluffy. This one can even make flowers. We probably won't be using it this time, though. I was thinking of an idea, Natsuki. What is it? Since this is a literature-themed event, why don't we write a different word on each cupcake? And let the people decide which cupcake to pick based on the word they like best. Uh... Hmm? I was kind of expecting you to say something really stupid. But that's actually a really cute idea, so... Maybe I'm getting it from you. What's that supposed to mean? I'm not cute. Come on. Not at school, nobody's judging. You can't dress and act like this and not expect me to think you're cute. He makes a point. You're wearing a cat shirt and you got cat freaking cat you got pink frills skirt, like cat <laughs> shirt, pink hair, freaking <laughs> Mm-hmm. Well Nazi's voice trails off. Same with you. Eh? Did you say something? No, nothing. Let's just do the icing. He picks up the pace and fastens a nozzle on each, each of the bags. There's a lot to do, so we don't be wasting time. Here, I'll show you how to do it. Without giving me a chance to think about think about before, Nasi quickly moves on. She shows me how to apply the icing, and then we get and they each get to work. When we're finally finished, Nasi puts them all side by side to admire our work. Look at how pretty they are together. Yeah, they don't look bad. Oh, I wish I could have one now. Well, there's no reason you can't, right? I don't see any harm in that. Well, yeah, but... My dad's making dinner tonight, so I really need to save my appetite. My dad cooks, and you need to eat as much of it as I can. Well, anyway... I was hoping we could have time for manga, but I need to be home for dinner. How unfortunate. It's your fault for working so slowly! I think... I think both of us stopped working for a little bit to joke around. You can bring the cupcakes tomorrow, right? If you and Sayori each carry some, you can probably do it in one trip. I can do it alone. Are you sure? Yes. Okay, that's mean. <laughs> I'm 
because Sayori wants to help. Bye. <laughs> no, Sayori. You can't help. <laughs> Just like that, our time together has ended. Natsuki packs up her equipment after cleaning it in my sink. Natsuki, aren't you taking the stuff I brought you earlier? Oh, um, no. Why is that? Because if we're being real here, my dad might just throw the stuff away again. And then ask questions on how I got it. And if he finds out I was with a boy all day today, he'll be mad. Since fear emanate from Natsuki. Is she afraid of her father? I feel a surge of anger well up inside. I understand, Natsuki. Could we do this again sometime? What, make cupcakes? <laughs> Hang out together. Ah. Well, I don't see why not. Natsuki looks at me ten tensely, like she's trying to hide her expression. Yeah. Who wouldn't hurt to spend more time with you? Zero. I thought you only cared about getting this done. Uh. I'm sorry I had to leave so early today. I really didn't want to. I would really stay here longer if I could. It's fine. You get going now. You'll get in trouble with your father for staying out too late. Okay. Thank you, Zero. Natsuki departs, leaving a weird chill in the air. She's actually sort of nice right there. That hearing words with that tone coming from her makes me feel odd. Jesus Christ, don't tell me I'm actually going soft on her. I slap myself on the side of the cheek. Oh, God. Ah, uh, there we go. Can't afford to have myself do this. Have myself do this. Yeah, you're right. We can't. Where the fuck? <laughs> oh, <laughs> I was like, where am I? Oh, what? Oh, oh, I keep forgetting the black goes to what? Well, I was just in my bedroom. What? <laughs> where did I go? Nobody knows. It's the day of the festival. It's time to get up and get to school. But is it the day of the festival? Or is it next Looks like time? the night of the festival. <laughs> Actually, yeah, wait, is it? Is it time to get up to get to school? <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> I perform my normal morning routine, taking a shower, brushing my teeth, getting dressed properly, and departing at an early time. Where are we go? Wh oh, okay. <laughs> oh, because that was early. Oh. Yeah. Because it got up, like, really early. Oh. Uh, oh. Uh, I see. <laughs> I start down the sidewalk, hear a voice calling out to me. Zero! I turn back into a Sayori, sprinting to catch up to me. Good morning, Sayori. Hi, Zero. You excited for today? Not really. Why not? Because I have to read a damn poem in front of people. <laughs> You'll enjoy it. Sayori, you evidently don't know me, then. Did you even write a poem? Yes, I did. Good. Trust me, Zero. You'll do great. Excuse me if I'm expressing this in, in, in a static attitude. I'm a little nervous too, you know. But I know as long as you and my friends are there, I can do it with all my heart. I ruffle Sayori's hair. He. <laughs> You're an inspiration at times, Sayori. Okay. We're gonna stop it here. <laughs> It has been like. Oh. I mean, yeah, I think it's been like an hour. I think. Oh, okay. So we're gonna stop it here and pick this up in the next episode. Shit's getting pretty, pretty, pretty good. Apparently, we're actually gonna go to the festival. We had to deal with Chad MC. He called me by surprise. He. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like that's the last time we're gonna see that guy. Watch the rest of the mod be like five minutes. <laughs> I mean, you want to keep going? We can keep going. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> you want to keep going? I keep no. Going. <laughs> I was right. making jokes. Please, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you guys want to play this for yourself, link is in the description. Um, also, if you haven't played Chapter 1 for some reason <laughs> and you're watching Chapter 2, uh, the Chapter 2 comes with the entirety of Chapter 1 as well. So you can just play, you just download chapter two to also play chapter one. Again, I don't know why you're watching this video if you haven't seen chapter one. <laughs> but it's like, <laughs> I don't know, random people, I guess. I don't know. But anyway, yeah. Play it. Link will be in the description. Anyway, that is it. I'll see you guys next time. This has been Zero. Peace. I'm a chef, chef